All right, now do it. On, off. On, off. On, off. All right, shut it off. What we just showed you on that gauge is we have the gauge hooked up straight to the rear cooling line. When you turn the lockup on in any Chrysler, it goes from converter pressure to mainline pressure. So you're always going to have a, a slight spike up and a slight spike down. So when you turn on the lock up on and off electrically, and it's working with the switch valve, you're going to see the spike in fluid pressure through the cooling line. This Challenger doesn't, the lock up is not working. So that means if the lock up is not working, it's not coming on at all, it's the seal inside the torque converter that's either damaged or ripped. So we gotta rip this transmission back out and send it off to um, PTC to get that seal looked at. But I just wanted to show you and give this tech tip to people when you're diagnosing a no lockup condition, you can just hook up a gauge right to the cooling line. If you have a, a, uh, a valve body like ours where you can manually turn the lockup on and off, it spikes, um, It'll, it'll spike the gauge and that tells you that electrically it's working and then this switch valve in the valve body is going open to closed. This same test will work if you have a lockup clutch that stays engaged. This is really more common with diesels. If, if you have a condition where the lockup is coming on by itself or it stays engaged, and you check this uh, with the pressure test and you see the spike um, on the gauge, that tells you the switch valve is switching. And most likely what is wrong is the clearance between the clutch and the cover is set too tight, which is causing the clutch to drag. Now I had this exact same thing happen in a gas vehicle um, where the clutch was dragging or coming on when the lock wasn't turned on. The customer used converter bolts that were too long and it dimpled the cover. And it dimpled the cover enough to where the cover was always dragging on the lockup clutch. So <clears throat> we had him test the, the pressures through the cooling line because it had our valve body just like you see it in the video and the the converter was was dragging so when we sent that back um to ptc the first thing they saw when they cut it apart was the converter bolts were too long so you got to make sure you use the correct depth converter bolts and um that's how you check a lockup the same test will work if you have a no lockup condition and if you have an always on lockup condition the gauge is telling you that electrically and mechanically and hydraulically that the switch valve is switching and doing its job.